We all love old houses. They have history and character, telling stories from the past. That being said, some aspects of old homes feel outdated rather than retro. Sometimes, updating your home is necessary so you don't feel stuck in another decade. What exactly does dated mean? In the context of home design, dated means that you can tell when a space was installed. It is usually caused by trends that were so huge at the time and they were mass-produced and mass-installed in thousands of homes. It is not necessarily a bad thing as your personal style may be something people call dated. But if you want to avoid this label, don't choose finishes typical of a mid-range big box store. Here are 10 things that instantly make your home look dated. Old window treatments and window valances. Old window treatments, whether that's dusty pastel curtains from the 80s, floral drapes from the 90s, ultra-delicate lacy drapes, vertical blinds from the 60s and 70s, or boxy window valances instantly age as a space. These window treatments often feature unpleasantly patterned heavy fabrics that reduce the amount of natural light that streams into a room. Alternatively, they are super delicate like lacy drapes that yellow over time and collect dust, or vertical blinds that are seemingly always getting tangled, difficult to clean, and a nightmare to open and close. It is even worse if you have window valances that match the curtains and furniture of the space. This is not to say that you should completely avoid these types of window treatments. In fact, there are many beautiful examples from traditional, Victorian, period, or country homes. However, every single detail from the pattern, shape, material are all well thought of. If you're simply in an old house with not much character in it, Chances are good that replacing these window treatments with simpler, light, airy alternatives hung high and wide will give your space much modern look. The Carpets Everywhere Look While there was a time and place when floors comprised solely of luxurious carpet were a must-have, these days are long gone. Even worse, homes with carpet in the bathroom. Rip up your wall-to-wall -wall carpet for solid surface flooring like hardwood floors. They're easier to clean won't get stained easily, and are much more hygienic as they don't harbor allergens like dust and mites. They will also last longer and are likely to give your home a higher resale value. If hardwood floors are too expensive, consider cheaper options like floating vinyl or timber laminate flooring. The technology has really improved so they almost look like the real thing. If carpet is a must, only have it in your bedroom and consider investing in a quality underpad so the carpet feels soft and luxurious for longer. All white appliances White fridges, dishwashers, and other appliances make a space look dated as they never match interiors well. Today, you can get your appliances in a range of more luxurious looking finishes like stainless steel, slate, and matte black. You can even get panel-ready fridges that integrate seamlessly with cabinets. That being said, there are specific situations where white appliances can work. For example, the smack white fridge which is in a 50s style if that matches the vibe of your home. Dated kitchen splash bags, countertops, and cabinets. Kitchen trends are constantly evolving, and as splash bags, countertops, and cabinets are very expensive and difficult to change, it is likely that your kitchen is looking tired and dated. In the early 2000s, dark granite was super popular. However, it was often overdone with oversized dark and weighty countertops with matching splashbacks. Today, lighter colored countertops are much more popular. If natural stone like marble is too high maintenance to your liking, consider looking to engineered stones like quartz. They look good and are much more resistant to stains. Golden wood cabinets such as pine or hickory were a kitchen staple in the 80s and 90s. However, they look super dated today. If you have these in your kitchen, consider sanding them down and applying a fresh coat of paint. Ceramic tile countertops from the 70s and 80s are also very dated. They are unappealing in look and also very difficult to clean as mold quickly forms. Tiles are best to be kept for backsplashes in kitchens, not countertops. Popcorn ceilings Popcorn ceilings were all the rage from the 50s to the 80s in low to mid-cost housing developments as it was an inexpensive way to hide imperfections and give a white dazzling finish to a ceiling. Today, they're super dated and quite honestly unsightly. Lots of homes still have popcorn ceilings because removal is very expensive and a threat to health as many contains asbestos. That is why you shouldn't do a DIY removal of your popcorn ceiling. If you're worried about the removal, 
Consider installing ceiling panels on top of the popcorn ceilings. Glass block walls. Glass block walls were very popular in bathrooms in the 80s and 90s as they let light in without sacrificing privacy. While in some rare cases it can be pulled off, such as this one in the Laneway Glass House by Henry Wilson and Brad Swartz Architects, their thick, cloudy, and slightly reflective look is usually quite unattractive. Instead, opt for frosted or decorative glass as it does the same thing but in a more modern way. Linoleum Flooring Linoleum flooring, often shortened to lino, was a very popular flooring choice in the 60s for its cheap price point as well as its soundproof and waterproof qualities. Even though there's a slight resurgence nowadays due to its environmental qualities as it's made from recycled materials, it is a dated material that reminds people of school floors and sticky kitchen floors. If you have lino floors, consider installing floating laminate flooring over the top as it will give you the appearance of hardwood floors. Dated light fixtures Light fixtures like boob lights, fluorescent bulbs, and exposed Edison bulbs are quite dated nowadays. They were quite commonly installed by home builders as they're super affordable, but there are many other better options out there like modern glass shade pendant lights. Again, this is not to say that you should completely avoid them. There are many use cases where exposed Edison bulbs can add some interest, especially if you're aiming for a vintage or industrial look. Matching furniture sets. Many people make the mistake of buying matching furniture sets such as couch and two matching armchairs as a quick and easy way to get all the furniture shopping done. Often, these sets are fast furniture from mass-produced cheap furniture stores, meaning they'll look boring and outdated very quickly. Instead, try to curate your space by finding complementary pieces instead of matching ones. Outdated colors. In the 70s, avocado green kitchens and poppy red kitchens were all the rage, but they feel drab today. Having these colors scream that your kitchen has not been updated for 50 years. The cool tone grey on grey trend circa 2015 and the warm beige palette are also outdated. A crisp, clean white is a super safe option and is on trend. It will make your home feel brighter and is much easier to decorate. If you're not a fan of white and prefer a more colorful interior, there are many ways to incorporate them into the kitchen. Take note of the different textures, materials, and contrasts to properly pull them off. White is super popular as it is a safe option for most people. Now that we've gone through some of the things that make a home feel dated, here are some tips for designing a timeless space. If you're in the process of designing your home and want to make sure it doesn't become dated in the next decade, aim for a timeless look. This can be achieved by buying quality goods and avoid buying something simply because it's on trend, but because you personally find them appealing. If you take an example of old styles, furniture, and design elements that aren't considered to be dated today, many times their point of differentiation is quality. For example, pretty detailing such as moldings and flooring from older homes are considered classic. That being said, don't be tricked into thinking that expensive items equate to quality or timelessness as there are a lot of tacky but expensive things out there. Another approach for designing a timeless space is to choose things with simpler silhouettes in neutral colors as they don't conflict with whatever is currently in style. For example, black and white tiles from the Victorian, Art Deco, and 50s are still appreciated today, but crazy colored tiles from a few decades ago are usually ripped out. The same rule applies to natural materials like unstained wood and stone that stick around for a long time, whereas specific wood stains go out of style. Natural materials like linen, wood, stone, and leather are classics that will keep your home timeless. Try to go for something timeless and classic for big ticket items. This will form the base of your interior, which you can dress up or down and go for trendier pieces as accents. At the end of the day, it is about designing a home that you love and will make you happiest. It is very easy to get caught up in what's hot at the moment, but creating a timeless home means we can decide to bring these trends in or not. That is all for my video on things that will make your space look dated, as well as my best advice for designing a timeless space. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.